Hello, everybody. Kevin Nunley with Networks Basketball. Ready for Episode 5, Zone Presses. I know. I talked about them through Episode 3 and 4. Just really didn't get the time to get to them, so today we're going to get to Zone Presses. So here we go. Okay, the first Zone Press we're going to go over is a Diamond and One. Okay, we're going to go over a Diamond and One first. All right. So here we go. Okay, we got our four. We're going to number them, so it'll be a little easier once I start the rotation if they're numbered. So we're going to set our fours on the ball. Okay, most players, most te- Okay, they're going to set up something like that. All right. So four. Remember, I like to shade the four to the. So I want to take his feet, split him in half, and shade him like that. Okay, because we don't ever want the ball to go across our defense. Okay, that, that, that hurts our defense there. So we got the four there. We'll say one, two, okay, three, and five. Okay, and if the ball's on this side of the floor, three, of course, will shade a little bit this way. All right, just a little bit. Okay, now three is really reading the guy taking the ball out of bounds. Okay, really reading his eyes and his shoulders where he's going to throw the ball. Okay, that'll help him dictate. Okay, his eyes turn this way, he gets to shade this way, his eyes turn that way, and he thinks he may try to throw this one. Okay, he's back over there. All right, if he sees that guy crank that ball back like a football or baseball, he knows to look deep. All right, and he's yelling deep. We want our four on the ball to be real active with their hands. Jump, be active with their hands. Chart deflections of the people taking the guy who's taking it out of bounds. Chart their deflections. Okay, give it a, a reward after every game. Hey, if we get this to me deflections from the guy taking the ball out of bounds, this is how we're going to reward our team. Chart that. Very, very important. All right, so we've got our diamond set up. Okay, they break here and throw it in. Okay, our one is here now. Got them squared up. Remember, we don't want to give up lines. We don't want to give up the sideline or, or the baseline on this. So now, also, we've covered this. Jump to the ball, okay, back and there. Do not come sprinting straight at the ball. That allows that gap to be open. Okay, so it's not going to be an immediate trap, okay, because we don't want this guy to run straight at the ball. A good ball handler is just going to split that gap. So we want to jump to it and get back and then create that angle. Our trappers, okay, when we trap, we want to make a T with our feet. So our feet are here and in here. So he's making a T to cut off this seam. All right? If your feet don't make a T, then you're going to leave that seam there that they're going to try to split that trap, and more than likely we're going to foul them. So we want to go over and have our feet make a T. So there is no seam for that person to drive through. All right, so we make a T there. So we've got it trapped. Again, we'll step this guy in. So he's there. All right, he plays in between. So two is going to move up and play in between, okay, him and the middle of the court. If there's nobody there, he really gets to cheat to the reverse pass. Okay. Three, the same thing. This guy's our great communicator. He's yelling at him. Nobody in the middle. Nobody in the middle. So two gets to step up and three gets to step over. Really clog that thing up. Now, if they do bring somebody middle, okay, right now we'll bring them from here. Okay. He's yelling middle, 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 middle. So now these guys have got to really play in between. So they're trying now, they're up here, he's up here playing in between. If this guy, if they can throw out of that trap to that guy, it is the trapper's fault. They're not being active enough. So now we're in between, reverse and middle, and we're in between ball sideline and middle with our interceptors. The guys on the trap, we don't want to foul. We're not reaching for the ball. Fouling negates us, our, our mission of creating chaos, creating a pace, okay, to tire teams out. 
Because when you foul, they got administer the foul. It gets you to the one-on-one faster. And then when they're in the one-on-one, that's when the other team gets to take breaks. So when we go to trap, hands are up, elbows are bent, not standing there straight up. Elbows are bent or joints are bent. And we're mirroring the ball with our hands. Notice, my hands stay even with my shoulders. Okay, whether I go up and down is fine. Okay, but I want my... I want everything to be in even in line with my shoulders. I don't want to be putting my hands here. All right. Their mission is to get a tip ball. Again, there's deflections or what I call a helium ball, a ball that's got a lot of air under it that we can run and track down. That's their mission. Their mission is not to steal the ball. So now we're playing in between. So we're in between, got our trappers with active hands. We're reading. These guys are reading. The guy in the traps, shoulders. If they turn, then they get to cheat the way they turned. Very few people are going to throw, okay, no look passes out of a trap. So they're going to turn. They're going to turn their shoulders. They're going to turn their eyes to their target. These guys have to be moving. That's one of the things about pressure, okay, that a lot of young players especially don't understand. They think they go to a spot and stand there. They're not standing there. They're reading how, they're, how, the, how the flow of the offense is, and then they're reading, okay, if he turns that way, then he gets to turn, he gets to go down. Okay, he turns back this way. He gets sideline, he takes away more middle. That is where we're going to get our steals, by the interceptors being active. Okay, so now that's they've got the ball in. All right, they've got the ball in here. Okay, we got a 4-1 trap going here. Three twos are interceptors and five's back. Now five, okay, he can cheat up the floor. He's got to be, he's got to be even with the deepest player. Okay, so right now they got everybody pushed up. So our five can actually move up closer in this scenario. Okay, so now here comes our rotation. When we talked about our man-to-man -man defense and our pressures, we talked about there are no rotations. We had the four rules and we went with them. Okay, on this there will be rotation. So now, they pass it back here. Okay, so here's our rotation. Two is now taking that ball and he wants to, and they want to take it knowing that I'm getting a trap from this side. So he can't let the dribbler go this way. So he wants to close out, okay, on the outside, leading him back to the trap. Okay, our trap's here. Here comes our trapper. So the four is our trapper. So the four is going to trap twice. So now we've got a two, four trap. Our three is running through this passing lane to get in between. Okay, playing in between. Actually, he's going to run here so he can get in between. Okay, so now he's in between. He's in here. Okay, R1 is running through this passing lane. Okay, to get in between. Now, it's very important that you get your players to understand they have to sprint out of traps. They have to sprint out of traps. Okay, a lot of players here in the one position would get it kicked there and then they want to stop and rest. Okay, we got to teach our players to play the next play. Play the next play. Okay, this isn't football, this isn't softball, this isn't volleyball or baseball, where there's breaks after every play. Okay, there is a next play to be made, and we have to teach our players, play the next play. And that is sprinting through these passing lines. Okay, sprinting through there.
Okay, so now we're in between, we're in between. Okay, one, so that's how it looks now. So we've got, so now we've got a 4-2 trap, a 4-2 trap there. Okay, one, three. And they're reading. Okay, and I'll say they go ahead and rotate it here. So here comes a three, trap, the two, the inside guy, the guy nearest the ball. Here he comes, trapping. Okay, here goes one, running through the passing lane, and here comes four. Okay, because most, most teams, once they get that ball rotated, he's probably going to rotate out, and he may rotate middle. So now we've got a two, we've got a two, three trap, a two, three trap, one's an interceptor, four's an interceptor. Okay, now we got a guy on the sideline, so one is playing in between, playing in between here, four, okay, is playing in between here. Or, I'm sorry, here. Okay, that is the way you're going to rotate. That is telling your guys where to go. Okay, let's say they broke this guy at the sideline. I'll clean her up. Sorry about that, coaches. I get rolling and I get lines everywhere. Okay, so we've got a two, three trap here, one, four, let's say, and then this guy came in, all right, so let's say they kind of sit this guy up side line through it here, so here it goes, our one, here comes the three, okay, four running through, two running through. All right. So that's the way that rotation works. All right. Now what do we do on the dribble? Okay. If our trap has been set, so let's say, okay, here we got a 1-4 trap, and it's been set. All right. And he starts to dribble. Trappers chase the trap. If the trap has been set, trappers chase it. Okay. All right. So, so one, okay. So we're trying to get out in front and cut it back off. Four is on his hip, trying to lead him, trying to keep him from turning the corner. Okay, so he wants to get a little bit, he wants to get his nose a little bit in front of that body on a dribbler, okay, so he can't turn the corner. Because he knows one is going to get out here in front of him and cut him off again. And on that dribble, here comes three, everybody's shifting. Okay, your interceptors are shifting because he's on the dribble going that way. So everybody's shifting. One gets off of him and cuts him off. Four gets, keeps that angle and keeps him dribbling at that angle so he runs right back in the trap. Once our trap is set, the trappers stay. Okay, and they chase it down. Okay. If our trap isn't set, so our trap has not been set. Okay. They throw it in and he just wheels and goes. Okay, or trap had me. So now one is going to be on the inside leading him, leading him, and here comes three. Three is our trapper. So it's a one three trap here as fast as we can get it set. Okay, here comes two hard, and there's four hard to the middle. Okay, 
And again, if five, if there's nobody back here, five can step up and help us. Now, okay, that leads us to something here. Fives, okay, in a lot of presses, okay, a lot of people don't want to leave the basket. Okay, they don't want to leave the basket. Okay, they always want that guy to stay back. And again, it might be personnel too. That might be just a big kid that can't really run real well, doesn't move real well, just put him back there and have him protect the rim. Okay, so it depends on personnel. Because I'm going to show you what I would do. Okay, that's your rotation normal. On the dribble down the sideline, three gets him cut, one's, one's funnel him to the trap, two's got to come over and take away this, four's got to take away middle. Okay, now, if it's me, okay, and again, I'm, I'm wild. As y'all know through all the videos so far, I, I think a little bit different. Okay, and I'm a little wilder. Okay, I don't mind that guy leaving the basket. If, he, if they can do it. If he or she can do it, I don't mind it. Okay, so two's here on that dribble. Okay, five's coming up, two's getting back, four's filling. Okay, and now you see that, see that makes everything a lot shorter. Instead of two having to come all the way over here and get there, okay, that makes it a lot shorter. Five comes up, two sprinting back. Okay, so now if we do it that way, okay, Okay, so we do it that way. It's five, four, three, one on the trap, and the ball's there. So you're still in, you're still in what you want. Okay, because there's probably gonna be a guy here, gonna be a guy there, gonna be a reverse guy there, okay, and there's gonna be a guy over on this side somewhere. Okay, and then once, once four gets back and boom, then four can sneak into that area and get in the middle again. Okay, that's, okay, if they wheel out and go, okay, then that's what we're looking for. Okay, that's the way I would do it. Bring the five up, let the two sprint, take the basket, and four's got middle. But... Okay, it's a shorter runs. But if you don't think you've got the personnel and this guy's faster, then two would get here, five would be back. Okay. Now the advantages of this is, yes, it is a long run, but two is running through the middle of the floor, and he may be able to get that one. Okay, kind of depends on what you want to expose. If you want to expose the middle, you want to expose here. Okay, two is probably not going to be able to cut this off if they just throw it over, okay, and a lob, okay, but five's probably going to be able to get that pass if he comes up, and they may be able to hit middle, okay, because four's got to come on, okay, he wheels out, so four coming right here has got to be on a dead sprint. Now, it goes back to this, so if we teach our players to play the next play, Okay, four knows he's seen that wheel out. He's got to run his butt to the middle. Okay, so again, if our trap is set, our trappers chase the dribbler. If our trap is not set, we're going to get the next guy to set the trap. Okay. All right, so that's going sideline. All right. So one... Four, two, three, five. Okay, so now they catch it in wheel middle. Okay, so now they just catch it in wheel middle. All right, now, so when he wheels middle, it's three again. Three, one, so we're trying to get it trapped there. Here comes two. Now, four is running behind the ball. Okay, four runs behind it. Doesn't run here. Doesn't run in front of it. Okay, runs behind it. 
So now we've got four and two. Five's back. Okay, so it's really, really important that this guy here can guard the ball. Because it can wheels either way. If they're able to catch it and just take off on us, we're in trouble. Okay, but I'm going to show you kind of a remedy to that here in a little bit in our breakdown drills. Okay, but if they wheel middle and can take off, three's got to get it stopped, one's going to get it trapped, here comes two, and four's going to go behind. And then we're just normal rotation. Okay, got to scramble from there. All right. Now, last thing in the diamond and one. Okay. And this will be your choice again. Okay. It's a one four trap. So we got him trapped here. Okay. Two, three, five's back. They throw it back. They throw it back to, okay. Now, a lot of coaches, okay, a lot of coaches, okay, they don't like to trap in the middle of the floor. And I just remember listening to Nolan Richardson one time talking about, okay, that Rick Pitino was, they were talking, pressing and trapping. And Nolan, Coach Richardson was like one of the first ones to trap in the middle of the floor. And Coach Patino asked him, said, well, why do you trap in the middle of the floor? And Coach Richardson's response is, why not? Okay, so you can choose in your diamond and one to trap the middle, or you can choose not to. Okay, I'm a Nolan Richardson type guy, why not? Okay, so here it is. So they throw middle, we showed this while ago, two would go, four's coming. Okay, three, one. Right? If you choose not to, then it became, basically becomes a man-to-man -man for a minute. Okay? If you choose not to. Okay? They throw the ball back to the middle. Okay? There's our help the helper help. He stunts at the ball and gets back. Okay? To allow four to get back and guard. Now, most people, that's not their point guards taking it out or whatever. It's, a, it's an iffy ball handler. So, we get it back. And now you're basically in a man-to-man. -man. And this guy's kind of playing middle. Again, reading shoulders. If he turns this way, you better cheat that way. Okay, we better be active on the ball. Okay, and then we, if they throw it here, then we're trapping again. And away we go. Me, I prefer to go ahead and trap to the middle. But if you don't want to, okay, you can, some people go, well, we could switch. Okay, here is how... Well, we could switch it, okay? Well, if you do that, okay, then you have to choose is it three or four It's going to make the run. Okay, because now you're asking four to make that run. Or, okay, three takes it, okay, four takes middle. So if you don't want to trap the middle, that'll be, the, that'll be what you'll have to choose from, okay? Does the inside guy go all the way across, or do you take three who's here, okay, who should be more to the middle of the floor with the ball in the middle, do you tell him to go take him and four come back? If you don't want to trap the middle. So that's a choice you'll have to make there. Okay? So that's our diamond and one. Okay. All right. Now, from that, basically, one, two, two is the same thing. One, two, two is the same thing. Okay, it's just that you're matched up. Boy, I got two in the wrong spot. 
Okay, you're matched up. Okay, you're matched up out of, but when the ball gets entered, it basically goes the same thing. The only thing that's different is this. Ball comes in. We get it trapped. Okay. All right, comes there. Backside guy is back. Okay. So it becomes our diamond in one. Two on the ball, two in the lanes, one back. I mean, that's what all presses are going to end up going. Okay. All right. If it came, if they were able to get it weak side, okay, they were able to throw across our press. Okay, so it's two. Here comes four to trap. Okay, five, five's taken in here, three's back. So that's that's the only difference in a one two two. Okay, it is it's a diamond in one except you're matched up to start. Okay, and the rotations are all the same. Okay. So now we go to the UCLA two two one. Okay, the two two one is really something to slow somebody down. Okay, and if they want to hand you the ball. They'll throw it to you, and we're going to trap on the sidelines. Okay, it's a two-two-one. So one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so the ball's here. So four is going to take away middle. So I can't throw it directly in the middle. He's shading. Okay, he's there. And he's up a little bit more. Okay, since there's nobody on the ball, you really got these guys have got to be aware of a long one. They got to be aware of a long one right to the middle, and they got to be aware of a long one. Okay, period. Okay, so they get the ball in. Okay, same thing. Okay, four's got middle. Okay, four's got middle, got deep, what I would call deep middle. They bring this guy in. Two has got shallow middle in reverse. Okay, and three's got sideline. One's guarding it. Okay, throw it back to here, all right, stunt, stunt, and then get back. He's just not allowing the ball to be dribbled up the middle. Okay, he's not allowing the ball to be dribbled up the middle. Okay, if they do dribble up the middle, he's got to get it stopped. Stop, picked up, and then he's, he's going back. Okay, because right now he's basically playing two guys. So he's got to get the ball. So he's stunting, hopefully, the guy will pick, you know, won't dribble and then get over to here. Okay. Four moves over, three moves over, one basically jumps to the ball and takes away shallow middle. Okay. Throw it here. Same thing. Now he's got sideline, deep middle, a little bit more shallow middle. So the box is just constantly moving. Okay, that's all that's happening is our box is just count is just shifting. So our box just starts here, then as it goes over, it just box shifts. Okay. Then if you want to play it a little aggressive, all right, shade them. So one instead of being straight up will be here trying to influence a dribble up the sideline. Okay, three, four, two. Influence that dribble up the sideline. Here comes our trap. Four's here, two's there. So we're in the same thing. Ball, interceptors, back. All right. And if they throw it back, you're just back in the two, 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 one. Just back in the two, two, one. Most of the time, a two, two, one is one trap and done. So if they throw it back there, okay. If they throw it backwards, we'll still be in it. If they throw it forward, then you're going into your base defense. Okay. 
It's more of an irritant than trying to steal the ball on a 2-2-1. Okay. All right. So now that's 2-2-1. Two, two, so we got diamond one, one, two, two, and two, two, one. Okay, now I'm gonna go to a th one, three, one half court trap. Okay. A one, two, two half court trap is the same as a one, two, two full court. Okay, so we're just gonna go the one, three, one. Uh, okay, so. You want to get them here. Okay, it's where you really want to get them. All right. And most teams, again, are going to set in that. Okay. Now, what happens is, as you, as you guys know, as you coaches know, is they kind of play Andy over with this guy. Okay. Because once he commits, then they throw over, All right? Which means, okay, what I would like to do is if he's got a ball handler here, I'd want him up and then him up. Because I'm going to funnel him to here. I'm not going to let them come down and throw back and forth across making this guy run because that's going to negate our traps, okay? So I'm going to get this guy to come up, okay? Get him on him immediately and cheat this guy up. Front the middle guy. Front that middle guy. They got a guy in the middle fronting. They can't throw it there. Okay, so I'm trying to funnel him into this corner, and here comes this guy. Okay, so we get him trapped right there. Now, Middle, middle, in between. Now we're in between. Okay, and it's the same rotation. They're going to drag that guy a little bit closer. He's going to get across half court, and he's going to be about right there. When they throw this thing back, okay, trap, inside guy, here he comes. Trap it again. He's there, outside guy is here. Okay. About to start drawing more lines, but we'll clean her up here. Okay, so we got the ball in the middle of the floor, it's trapped. So we got it trapped here. So he dribbles out and makes that pass. Now, again, I'm a guy, I'll leave the basket. Okay, so, so he's coming to trap. He's coming to trap. So now both of our trappers, okay, the guys are in here, okay, because he's coming to take the basket. So now we're interceptor, interceptor, interceptor. taking away this elbow because that's where this guy's going to drag to. Okay, so we got the basket. We got deep middle covered. We got shallow middle covered. And we got reverse covered. Again, if they now can turn and throw that skip pass, if they can throw diagonal skip passes, it's our trapper's fault. Not being active enough. Okay, if they can throw diagonal skip passes against a, against a trap, it's our trapper's fault. Okay, and that's a 1-3-1. One, one. Okay, same rules apply. Okay. Okay, same rules apply. Okay, if we trap here, trap here, he wields out and starts dribbling. Okay, this guy's going to cut him off. That guy's got it there, deep middle, or he's got, he's got the rim, and he's got shallow middle, and this guy's going to get it cut off.
if we trap here and he comes middle and he gets out and comes middle. Okay, this guy's got to shut him down. Okay, this guy's dropping and this guy's dropping. There's our trap right in the middle. And that's our 131. Half court trap. Okay. All right. So now, let's go to some breakdown drills. Now, the thing about breakdown drills is this. Okay, coaches, don't be afraid to be creative. Okay, don't be afraid to be creative. Okay, when I do teamworks, half the stuff I come up with in a gym is stuff that I'm seeing in the gym right then and there. Okay, whether it be offense or defense, it's like, oh, I see this. Oh, I see that. Then I can create a breakdown drill because your breakdown drills want to be game simulations. That's why I really don't try to use the word drill too much as use the word game simulation because that's what we're doing. We're game simulating. So we want to be able to take from a drill and we want that drill to fit into a game simulation. This is what's going to happen in a game, and this is what we're going to do. And that's why I call it game simulation. All right, so when I'm in a gym, I look at something and say, okay, that's what the, if I'm, if I'm working on defense, that's what the offense just did to us. Then I'll sit down and go, okay, how can I draw up a game simulation that I can run our team through for that instance when that happens? So don't be afraid to be creative. And I always tell coaches and players, okay, when I come and work with, with teams, okay, sometimes I'm going to be creating as we're doing it. I don't know whether it'll work or not. I'm not afraid to fail in front of your team or you. I'm not afraid to fail. Because out of that failure, we're going to learn something. Okay, so I'm not. So I told a coach this year. I worked with their team during Christmas. I said, "Look, coach, I'm going to throw stuff up against the wall. I don't know whether it'll work or not." Okay, that's that's the way game simulations or drills. That's the way they're created. It's what's the game going to show us? Okay, so I'm going to split my team. All right, we're going to be down here. And we're going to be trapping. We're going to be working on trapping. Okay, we're going to be working on the first initial trap. So I've got a guy here, got a guy here, okay? We're working on, and, and it doesn't matter right now. We're dying to one, one, two, 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 one. It doesn't matter. One, three, one, half court trap. It doesn't matter at this point, okay? And then we're going to break a guy here, and then we're right on his hip, right there with him. We're going to throw this ball in. and Okay, now, right now the offense cannot dribble. Okay, I don't want them dribbling, okay, because I want them trapped, all right? This guy's not even stepping in, so he's got nobody to pass it to. Because what I want to have happen is jump to the ball, level the ball, trap it, and make our tee. And then active hands up. Okay, that's all I want to work on. Now, our offense should be working on, okay, can I rip and pivot and play, it at, play through pressure of a trap? And that's all we're working on. So I can actually have it going on both sides. So that's what we got going on on that end of the floor is our trapping. On this end of the floor, we've got our interceptors working. Okay, so now, okay, we've got a guy here and a guy, a defender here. The guy breaks to the ball and catches it. Now, what we want him to do is similar to what we did in our man-to-man -man defense. We want him to catch the ball, turn, and look for a count of two. Thousand one, thousand two. Whichever way he turns, I'll say he turns that way. Then I want this guy moving, and I want this guy moving. Thousand one, thousand two. Then he turns back this way. Step down, step down. Thousand one, thousand two. So these guys are, you, are working on reading the shoulders and moving accordingly. 
So we got trapping on one end, okay, and then we've got interceptors on the other. So now after we've done that, okay, on the interceptor end, now I'm going to add our five. And again, when you're doing these, have everybody play every position. Okay, don't get caught. Okay, don't get caught. Well, you're the five. You play there. Have everybody play every position. Okay? So, so we got him in now. Here, we're going to put somebody there. So now we're breaking, getting it in. All right, our interceptors are playing. He's still 1,001, 1,002, 1,001, 1,002. At some point, he gets to break to the middle, and he's got to start talking. Middle, middle, middle. So these guys know. Okay. I don't want this pass to get thrown in and him come running because then they'll always throw it in there. So this guy's got to catch it, rip, 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 and then he can come at any time, and then now we're taking away middle. Now, on this pass, okay, if we steal the pass, now this is where we want to get used to attacking people as soon as we get it. So we steal this pass, okay, Steal, look up. Steal, look up. Don't steal and dribble. Steal and look up. Anytime we get the ball, whether it's rolling or we intercept a pass or whatever, it's pick it up, look up. Pick it up, look up. It is never grab the ball and start dribbling as fast as you can. Okay? Because this guy now has turned to offense and we're looking for that quick pass to lay it. When we steal it, these offensive players are not playing. Okay, they're not playing. They're not trying to get back and take it away from us. Okay, we want this thing stolen and looked up, pitched up. Pick it up, look up, pitch it up. Sounds great for a t-shirt of a team that's going to press. Pick it up, look up, pitch it up. Okay, so that's what they're working on here. Okay, on our trapping end, okay, on our trapping end now, now the guy is going to step in. So now it's three versus two. So on the trapping end, three versus two. So now he throws it in, traps it, he turns in. Okay, and now we want this guy reading. He turns this way, he's coming more here. Turns that way, he's coming more there. Same thing. That's the only guy he can pass to right now. Okay, but he's still got to read. He cannot be sitting down here waiting on it. Well, that's the only guy he can pass. No. Okay, he's got to read his shoulders. Okay, he still cannot dribble yet. All right? Because what we want to have happen is we want him to turn those shoulders, him go through there, boom. Intercept it, and we go score. All right, understand whatever I'm putting in, whether it be an offense or a defense, I'm going to make it where it is successful as we put it in. In our game simulations, what I'm putting in is going to be successful. Okay, because I've got to build confidence in our team that this is, hey, this is good, this is going to work, boom. Okay, so I'm going to figure out a way to make it successful. So right now, I've really put the handcuffs on the offense. Okay, because I want our guys to get excited about what we're doing. All right, so now we're three versus two. Now the next thing. Okay, on this end, so now we're here, here, and here. Okay, and we got four, one, okay, two, three. So now it's four on four. Now when we go to four on four, offense can now start dribbling because we have enough guys to take everything away. Okay, so they get it in. We trap it. Okay, there, they're reading. Okay, guy steps in, so they're reading him. Okay, pitches it back. We go trap it again. We're, we're, we're rotating. Tries to throw it to the middle. 
Now he tries to throw that. Okay, and it's live. It's live to half court. Okay, so now we're live. Again, offense gets to half court, it's over. We get a steal. We're turning it now. Now on this one, we're turning immediately. We're going to score. And then, and then they just go right back, take it out, and we hit it again. Okay, same guys are in. So if the defense steals and scores, same eight guys stay in because you want to get your team, okay, used to slapping that, slapping that press on them quick. Getting back in it, getting back in it, get play the next play, play the next play. We score, the next play is we are in our we are in our full court trap. That's the next play. Okay. So we got four on four going that's in. We got four on four going this in. Okay. Now, that's what I'm going to do. That's the breakdown stuff I'm going to do starting practices and things like that. Then I'm going to put the simulation in. Okay, we catch it. Okay, so now it's, so now it's, it's this. Okay. Now it's just, it's four on two, but here's what we're going to, we're going to catch it and he's going to turn and wheel. Okay, so he turns and wheels. Here comes the three, boom, boom, boom. So they got to get their rotations in. Okay, we're going to see if we can't get it trapped out of the guy dribbling hard up the sideline and then see if we can't get our rotations correct. And I got this going on both ends of the floor. Okay. Then the next one, okay, we get it in, we get it trapped, now he's going. So now we got him coming off, him funneling. So now it's a two, it's a one on two drill, but we know what the guy's gonna do. Okay, so now we get here. So now we gotta funnel and get out in front and trap it again. The trappers have to chase it down. Okay. So we go four on four the first time, and they do a lot of dribbling. We're probably not going to be very good at it because we haven't worked on it. Then I come back the next day, and I put this in. Okay, I come back the next day, and I put this in. Okay, now here's, here's our breakdown drill of the dribbler. Okay, and then from there, I'm going to do the exact same thing. Then I'll go four on four. Then I'll go five on five. Okay, and I'm still watching, okay, I'm watching because I'm seeing is there something we're not very good at. I want the one or two points we're not very good at, and then that's where if I have a simulation and we just need to do it more, we'll do it more. If I don't have a simulation, I'm going to go home and figure out how to get a simulation. That's the way I'm going to build it. Okay. Got a couple more, then we're, okay. Now, told you earlier on that chasing the dribble, I'd have something else. Okay, so here we go. So you're gonna start the ball handler out here, and you can work this on both ends of the floor. Okay, you got a guy here, defender here. Got a defender playing down here on his right side, down here playing on his left side, behind him. He has the ball. He's going to start in a walk, dribbling with his right hand. We are now going to teach tapping from behind, okay? Because we can chase and tap it. We go low to high, low to high when we're trying to tap it, okay? When we're trying to tap it, we want to go low to high, not high to low. We're not breaking down on them, okay? That's a foul every time. We go low to high, okay? So they're just walking. We're going to tip it. This guy's going to track it, pick it up, look up, pitch it up. Offense is done. Offense is not going to turn around and play defense. So on that tip, and he sees his man's got it, this guy now heads to the rim, pitch it up, score it. 
okay? And we're working left hand over here. And we go with the inside hand, the hand nearest the ball handler. Okay, so if my ball handler's got the ball in his left hand and we're headed up the floor, I'm tapping it with my left hand. Or if he's got it in his right hand, I'm sorry, if he's got it in his right hand, I'm tapping it with my left hand. Okay, I'm not reaching across my body. Boom. If he's got it in his left hand, I'm tapping with my right. Low to high. Okay, and we want to start out walk, jog, ooh, can't spell, jog, full speed. Okay, that's singles. Okay, now we go doubles. So now we start the offense in the dotted line. We start our defense about three steps away from them. So now they're on both sides. Same thing. Okay, right hand dribble here, left hand dribble there. Dribbling up the floor. Okay, now. Okay, he's dribbling. Now he can cross it over and get it here because we got both sides. These guys are tracking from behind, and one of them's going to tap it. Tap it. Pick it up. Look up. Pitch up. So as soon as we get it, these guys are here. Now they're both exploding to the rim to score. So now we're, see, so now this is where this comes in handy. If we've trapped here, he wheels out down the sideline. Here comes our other defender. Well, our two defenders, instead of dare, they circle in behind him. Okay. They circle in behind him and try to get the ball tapped to this guy. There's the game simulation. And the same thing. Walk, jog, full speed. Okay, last one. Okay, this is actually one. I don't know. Some of you, some of you coaches may have seen this before. I don't know. Uh, but I started doing it last I started doing it last summer. Okay, so you got your interceptors. Okay, you got a coach. All right. Coach is pivoting the ball. So he's boom, boom. He can even rear it back. Okay. So he's pivoting the ball. All right, so they're moving. They're moving. They may come in. They may go out. They may go back. At some point, I'm either going to throw it, roll it, whatever. And I'm not necessarily throwing it at them. I can roll it, throw it, okay, throw it deep, whatever. Okay. One of them's got to get it. Pick it up, look up, pitch it up, score. Okay, so now we're working. This is an interceptor drill. Okay, it's an interceptor game simulation. So you got a coach, player, player. Coach is moving the ball. Okay, they're moving accordingly. And at some point, throw it. Throw it, roll it, whatever. They got to pick it up, look up, pitch it up. Okay. That's pressure. Okay. Hope you got something out of this video. Again, uh, you want to hit me up at Twitter. Go right ahead. Got a lot of guys DMing me and things like that. DM me questions. DM me comments. You got another drill you, you like? Hey, show it to me. I'll bring it in here and show it to everybody else. Okay, this is this is a coaching clinic that, hey, I want to I wanna give out as much knowledge as I can. Somebody else has got something. Draw it up. Take a picture of it. You want to take a video of it and explain it to me? Hey, love to see it. The more interaction, the better. Next time we get together, I'm going to show a base offense, a base man-to-man -man offense, and then some set plays into that base offense. So we're going to get back to offense. Okay, I've had enough of defense. All right, I'm an offensive guy as it is, so ready to get back to offense next time we get together. Hope you're doing well. Thanks a lot for watching. See you soon.